let's just, if you look at it, let's give them both against Washington. But one thing, before you even start this, mm -hmm. not having Tate for the first four games kills them. Well, because of the four games, three of them are winnable, the first yes. four. And will they be able to win without their best receiver? That's, that's a great point. Because you're right, Dal at Dallas, not really particularly winnable. And the next three, they should win. Buffalo, Tampa, Washington. Winnable games. And if they lose Although we do have games, to remember, and you always point this out, we do have to remember, Washington and Tampa are thinking Giants are a winnable game. Right. So let's just, let's just all be honest about what we're looking at here. But so let's say you give them those three. So they're three and one. Give them three and now, one. Now they get, they get healthier. And they get Tate back. Because Tate comes back. Then they get Minnesota and New England. All right, those are losses, I would think. Then they're, then they're three and three, and, they are, and they have Arizona at home. Okay. Win. Win, so that's four. Four wins. Then they go at Detroit. Okay. If you're a good team, you should win that. But let's just play the conservative, they lose. Yeah, the conservative, they lose. So they're four and four after Detroit. Then they're home against Dallas. They lose again. Okay. They're at the Jets. They lose that. Yes. They're four and six. They're at Chicago. They lose that. Four and seven. They're home against Green Bay. Lose that. Four and eight. They're at Philadelphia. Now, four and eight. And then they're bringing in Daniel, Daniel Jones. Jones. Yeah. Right. So like now it's 4 and 8, they're going to lose to the Eagles. So then they're going to lose to the Eagles. 4 and 9. Then they have two more wins up their sleeve. They have home against Miami and at Washington. Give them both. Okay. 6 so and now, 9. Now you're at 6. Now 6 and six. 9. And last they, week of the season. And then last week of the season against Philadelphia, who could be playing for nothing. Right. Or could be fighting with, with now, the Cowboys. So we're looking at, I think the 6 we gave them, we were giving them because we honestly believe they're better than the team they're playing. There has to be a game where I think maybe they steal one. True. So that's what you're asking. Can, can they beat, like, the Jet game, the Lion game, the Packer game? The home Vikings game. I mean, you know, we don't know so the there's Vikings some are. games there. I mean, remember, this was a team that was, what well, I think when they were 3-13, and 13, they beat the Chiefs. Like, there's always, like, one game where they just catch a team at the right time. So what you're asking them to do, if you're betting the Giants over, is there one game they can win that they're not supposed to? And but then you could also say then they're, they're going to lose, lose one of the games that they should win. But it's close. Uh, That's I, why I wouldn't Vegas touch is it. smart. Listen, I don't, the, the easy answer is don't touch it. At six and a half, you're probably not touching it. But it's gun to my six. head, I would go over. It's an even six. Well, it doesn't matter. Right. But six you know, to six and a half doesn't I, matter. I, I do put some credence in this. There's no bigger Giant fan that I've ever seen in my life than Dave Rothenberg, and he thinks they're going to stink. He doesn't think they have a chance. I was listening to the show today. He thinks they're stinking. It's possible. He well, doesn't think there's any hope whatsoever. I thought they stunk last year and they won five games. Now, if they stink and Jones turns out to be for real, maybe that's an upgrade. And maybe some of those games you look at differently after Chicago because now you've got maybe a better quarterback. But you're also extracting their best wide receiver. But the first four From the games, whole season, you mean Odell. Odell. Yep. Yeah. But Ingram, I think, is going to be better when Tate plays. Shepard's no, 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 good. No, listen, Ingram's going to be better than he was, not better than Odell. I just wanted to get that straight. But Ingram's going to get better. Barkley's going to get better. Tate's eventually going to play. This offensive line is better, which to me is, is everything. There's a chance that this is a team that's decent offensively and terrible defensively. All right, call up the Jets. Let's do the always famous win-loss, win-loss, loss-loss-win game with them. This right. is seven and a half, the Jets? Yes, that's what he said. All right, here are your, the New York Jets schedules, the opposite. They start out very heavy in front. They got to win week one. I mean, how big is that game against Huge. Buffalo? Because, of course, after that, they have Monday Night Football against Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Which I'm not conceding. Winnable. Winnable. No, but, but, but do you think they're going to win both of those two? No. You think it's probably a split? Uh, I, yeah, I would think they're going to be one and one Week three, they have New England at New England. Now, New England usually starts poorly. That's true. You right. can give them one win in the New England game. You can. So it would be the early Because to, to me, New England's first four weeks is their preseason. And by the way, they get the Patriots early twice. So look, well, let's give them the win against New England. You want to go crazy? Yeah. Give them the win against New England. They're 2-1. and one. Then they're at Philadelphia. After a bye, they lose. Never beaten Philadelphia. 2-2. Two and two. Weird. Home against the Cowboys. Loss. 2-3. and three. Home against New England. Lost. They're not going to, whichever they won't one, sweep they're, they're the not going to sweep. Two and four. Right. right. At Jacksonville. Give them that. Yeah. Three and four. At Miami. Boom. Four and four. Wait and a four. second. You're going to give them Jacksonville? Yes. Yeah, so you have a good athlete. Like, then, and that's the reason. <laughs> uh, 
Then they're home against the Giants. We're giving them that, five and four. If we're going to be consistent with our Giant picks, yes. Then they're at Washington. You're going to give them that. That's six. They're at six and four. Now, that's six and four before we get to Thanksgiving. Mm. Now we have... A lot the, to be thankful for. The Antonio Brownless Oakland Raiders. Win. Seven and four. At the Cincinnati Bengals. Win. Eight so they've, they've, they've covered. I'm telling you, this, uh, the over for the home, Jets. Home against Miami. Win. Nine and four. At Baltimore. Loss. Nine and five. Home against Pittsburgh. Loss. Nine and six. At Buffalo. Win. Ten and six season you're calling for the New York Jets. That, and I'm telling that's you, I, like. I really think that's very doable. Now, you're also asking them in that scenario to go five and one in the division. Which, that's, that's a lot. Sweep the Bills, sweep the Dolphins. You, you, gave, one, them, yes, you the gave them a win against the Patriots. Now, I, you can give them you, a loss against the Bills. It always seems to work I'll that tell you They're going to go probably 4-2 in the division. The division. Bills are, are much better than you think. No, I, I don't think the Bills are bad. The Bills were the Bills. So were we gamers had last sweeping year. the Bills? Yeah, yeah. it's a big no, split. That's we why can't. I said it's a split. That, you look at it that way, four and two in the So division. down to nine and seven. But they're, they're nine and seven. seven. It's it's seven and a half. Listen, Vegas acknowledges the improvement. They were a four win team last year. They're over under seven and a half. Yeah, they, because it would be ridiculous to push it much higher than that. It's almost like that's the max Vegas could push it to was seven and a half. So to say you like it at nine, I, I think that's reasonable for this team. 